So, today my talk is directed towards people that deny God, and basically I want to make some comments about something very, very basic, and that is that the physical laws of the universe uh, that are observable by human beings are very basic, very simple. Uh, they uh, happen constantly, they do not ever not happen. If you pick up an apple, it will fall, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, time and speed and distance, they're all interrelated, that's always going to be true. So certain things, and when we look at this universe, if we say the universe is random, then here is the problem. Because you take all of the equations that we know till today, one of the elements or one of the features of any equation is uh, you have a plus b is equal to c. So you have this something on one side and something on the other side and you have a balance. And figuring things out is basically completing this balance, is, is to figure out how these two things, how certain things balance each other out. And this whole universe, uh, for the people that consider it to be random, my question is this, is that in this random universe, how come we have such equations? Basically, equations means that it, there is such balance and symmetry. We have a very symmetrical, a very, uh, a very, uh, a very, uh, it's not chaotic. It is symmetrical. And because it is symmetrical, we can put it into mathematical formulas. Because it is symmetrical, and because we can put it in mathematical formulas, not only can we do that, but mathematical formulas show that something happens. But why it happens, we cannot tell. For example, uh, you boil water, and water will get more hot and more hot and more hot until 100 degrees Celsius, after which it will become gas. Why does water not become more than 100 degrees Celsius. Why cannot the water become hot, more hot than 100 degrees? Why does it convert from liquid to gas at that point? We don't know why. We can probably maybe never really know why. We just know that it happens, and we can put it into a formula. So all of these equations, we know that this is a phenomenon that occurs, this is an event that occurs. We don't know why. And the thing is, is that if the universe is chaotic, then no, no single equation should be working every time because it's a random world because it's a chaotic world and if it's a chaotic world no real you couldn't even make up an equation really uh, but since we can make equations and and it's and it, there's this balance like you know like I said a plus b equals c so in the middle is equal and you're trying to balance things out and because you know that there's a symmetrical universe it's actually easy to discover things and see the interrelationship between things and so, it's, 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 it takes a lot uh, from the perspective of the believer, at least, that uh, I believe in God. I believe that, uh, that uh, the Big Bang happened, but I don't believe it was just all chaos. Uh, it couldn't have been because we ended up with a universe that has very defined rules and uh, ways of working. Uh, that are predictable and uh, that can be observed and and so uh, when we uh, the Muslims particularly we look at God or we look at you know the, the one who created the universe if we understand uh, from the Quran from the holy book of the Muslims that God created a universe that was uh, everything was measured you know in Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir and it says, and God made over all things a, a particular measure. God put a measure for everything. Qadr or Qadir means Qudra, means nature or measure. Everything has its measure. Everything has its equation. So God has an equation over everything. He put everything in its systematic order, which means that there is an equation for everything, which means that it can therefore be discovered and it does not change. It is never changing. And because it's, uh, it, it, it has, you can say, this, uh, these laws of the universe have the attribute of, uh, of as samad the one who doesn't change, what is eternal. Meaning these physical laws are from the God who, are, who is eternal. Uh, otherwise, like I said, in a chaotic world, there would be no formula that would work every time. 
e is equal to mc squared sometimes, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It would probably not work most of the time if you're living in a random world. But again, you have these laws that work. Take also like, for example, freezing point. Now, <coughs> freezing point is very interesting because as the opposite to what we were talking about, heat, freezing point as things become colder and colder and colder, water actually becomes less dense. This is why you find in your ice cube, when you, when you have, uh, you know, coke or something, the ice cubes come to the top. Ice call always comes to the top, like in an ice ring. The ice is on the top. Why? And what's the benefit of that? The benefit of that is that the animals that are living under the ice ring, they can survive because they can eat their food. Otherwise, they'd be ice covered. If water became more dense, it would go down. And the ice would go down and cover the food. And there would be no living beings. So all these oceans, they would be deprived of, uh, these beings would be deprived of, of life whenever it would get really cold. And we know that's not true. And so, um, ice always comes to the top. It becomes less dense than water itself. Even though it is water, but it becomes less dense. But, you know, this is kind of like two things that are c connecting. Uh, ice becoming less dense, coming to the top, and survival, therefore, takes place. Um, another example uh, of, of these phenomena and these laws of the universe that I think are really interesting one very interesting one is with the moon. The moon, when it hits the sun, uh, the sun rays hit the moon and reflect it back onto the earth, the rays that reflect it back to the earth are actually more energized uh, than when it hit the moon because the moon is made of magnesium and other substances that intensify the, the, uh, the, the you could say, the, the intensity of light and the photons. Uh, when it's reflected back to the Earth. So the Earth's moon surface is like the perfect surface to have a reflection from uh, because it only intensifies the light even more. And so that more in light comes back to us from the moon even more. It's like the perfect mirror to put on, out on space for the Earth. So uh, all these things, how these, but, the, but, but you know, all these things, uh, the 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 uh, the photon effect and and uh, on the moon and and like the moon dust the way it works all these things they can be put into an equation and they're really simple equations and therefore uh, whether it is boiling point or freezing point whether it is the most smallest of the uh, universal units which is the electron you know every electron has the same amount of energy. Why? I mean, why? Why is not things random? Why is everything? Uh, why is why is everything? Uh, you know, ha, be, have following a rule, so to say, at every level. Uh, everything seems to be following a rule, and so how do you have a universe that is chaotic, but yet follows rules precisely? It cannot be one way or the other, and so. I wonder, you know, what some of the atheist uh, friends would say to that, and and how they how they justify a very symmetrical universe uh, in a universe that supposedly began with chaos. Um, so I'll leave you guys with that, and and maybe someone will have a good response to uh, what I was uh, suggesting. Thank you very much.